total crash. Okay. Uh, with uh, uh, whether it's going to eventually backfire, something happens. Got you. You know what's worse than a market crash? What? A market crashing up. <laughs> you know what happens when a market crashes up like Venezuela did? No. Here's what it means. Okay. <sighs> Do you know? <laughs> oh, my God. You know where I'm going with this. So these guys Wait. printed trillions of dollars into the economy. Mm -hmm. That money's in the economy. Print it, Pat? You said printed? No, no. That money's oh. in the economy. They fed the economy trillions of dollars. Okay. So that money goes where? Whoever has the most value to be shown, that's where the money flows. Okay. The money doesn't stay with a person that doesn't know how to manage the money. If you don't have value, the money goes away to somebody else. Okay? A reverse market crash, what happened? Do you know what would happen if right now Jerome Powell decreased rates to 6%, 5%, 4%, 3%. Do you know what would happen today? Hello, family. Welcome back to another episode of Journey to Harmony. I'm your host, Richard Harmon. Um, today, I want to come and talk to you guys about what will happen when the Fed drops rates. So many people are hoping right now that the Fed does not drop rates for some time. We need some time for um, the market to kind of cool off. Um, but I want to take us back to what was going on back in 2020, 2021, and 2022. We remember back then that, that jobs were hiring like crazy. Why is that? Because the money was cheaper. Um, they had so much access to cash that they ended up uh, needing more people, more companies were able to be built. And because there's more companies, there's less people who are qualified, um, whether it's software engineers, whether it's electricians. All these people saw immense amount of increase in their salaries. So what is going to happen in um, six months, a year, 18 months when the Fed does drop rates and money becomes more available again? Those who have these particular skills, those who are uh, in nursing, those who are in um, all of these fields, travel nursing, all these different things like that, they're going to be paid a handsome amount. But what, was, what was going on before this year was many baby boomers were dropping out of the market. And what's happened since that time is, is that people have kind of gone, come back into the market as they're a little bit afraid of how their their investments are doing. The stock market is down compared to, to where it was back when in 2021. Um, so people came back into the market to kind of just to, to work to make sure they have enough to carry themselves over. But again, once that time comes 18 months from now, a year from now, whenever, whenever that does come, those who are in that baby boomer generation, we're going to see a huge boom of people retiring. And their investments that are in the stock market are going to go back up and then they're going to feel wealthy and ready and all again to, to start over. Um, there was a conversation I was had yesterday with uh, Patrick Bet David, and he talked a little bit about this whole process right now. And there's people who are wishing that the stock market goes down. This Venezuelan uh, stock market have gone up 600% in the past year. So imagine the S and P 500 is at, um, you know, it's at you know 4, 4,400 right now, and it goes from 4,400 to 20 to, to you know to. Uh, to 24,000 or something like that, you know, that, that those people would, would become millionaires and millionaires many times over those who are not invested in the stock market will find themselves in a very serious situation as the, the, the gap between those who, who have and those who do not have would become so much more greater. Um, unfortunately, I, it's, there's not, I don't really see a way out of this right now, you know, like with, the continued support that's going on with the wars and all these things in, uh, included. The spending that's going on right now in the country is it's accelerating. It's not decelerating. Um, with with the loss of jobs, what's happening as well is that there's the, the companies that were, were, were there to, to lessen the burden on the government. When someone loses a job, the, the resources that are consumed from uh, unemployment, from government benefits increases. So as as this is going into so it's it's a lose lose situation right now for for the country whether you know the the, the people who are supposed to, to be there to supply the jobs to help to lessen the burden the, this this rate hike is reducing and putting additional stress on those companies so so your your tax base of who you can draw money from is lessening and is increasing the gap overall which it which eventually increases the spending that will be required to fix this issue so when the time does come and, you know, if rates are dropped, it is going to be absolutely astronomical. Um, we, we can hope, you know, I hope that, that it stays for the long point and, you know, it doesn't happen overnight. But 
truly it's something that is something to be considered at this point right now. What are your thoughts on this? Um, have you positioned yourself well is my question for you. Have you considered what you're doing and what is it that you could be doing um, in that time to come? Um, we know for a fact as money is more available, things are going to be purchased. Are you in a position where you're selling something? Are you in a position where you are, um, you know, uh, you know, providing a skill that is valuable? All these things will continue to increase. What are your thoughts? Comment below. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining. Have a good day. Thank you.